recording. Well, hello and good evening and welcome once again to At Home with Cynthia and Maria. Hi everyone. Hi Maria. Hello, good morning, good night, good afternoon. Where Wherever you're at. Hello. Um, so, uh, we have been learning some things and uh, now we want to, uh, this show is more dedicated to uh, what's happening with this uh, man who is um, transgenderism has become a very, very popular thing that uh, kids as young as three are getting done having done because mom and dad or just mom or just dad want to have a boy or a girl and they don't so uh it it's a really really uh, unfortunate and sad thing that hap that's happening because now it's like a fad you know, these young adults, it's just unbelievable what's happening. It's, it's child uh, uh, mutilation. And I always thought that child abuse was against the law. Yeah. Here, here's the thing. They do have today, because of in vitro fertilization and other um, avenues you can take if you are trying to have a certain sex. Mm -hmm. um, actually in a petri dish um take it or allow uh, it's a, a i forgot what it's called something selection where they go in and they will take yep. either a female and they look at the healthiest uh combinations of the egg and the sperm and then you know yeah voila so other avenues for that probably expensive ones so that's yeah. why people do them. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if it's all about that. They just wanted a certain gender. Mm -hmm. I believe that there uh, are being brainwashed into believing that these children will come out and say, I like dolls today. And it could be little math. It doesn't matter what the name is. Okay. Yeah. So we're not saying, okay. Uh, whatever you call your child, Emma. It could be child M is a boy and likes dolls. And all of a sudden, these young mm -hmm. because of the, they listen to a psychologist or a psychiatrist, somebody with all these degrees who is believing that your child is really a female child that was born a man. And now you say that they Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to let Cynthia uh, talk in where we were talking about if your child not the doctor by the way um, always talk to your physician just like a couple of little yeah. but we do have opinions on this show mm -hmm. and I'm going to tell it out to you because I have strong opinions on by the way like subscribe hit the notice about whether you agree with us or disagree with us. If you get ugly in the comments, we block you. Yeah. You know? You yeah. Ugly in the comments. Be civil, right? You can disagree, but be civil. Okay. Um, we'll report, not only will we report you, but a couple of times of those negative comments, you do get in trouble off of social media. I'd be very, you know, iffy if you really want to do that. Okay. On the next topic. So we did a show where we were discussing if your child wants to become a caterpillar or a butterfly or, or Batman or Cinderella, are you going under the knife to create that illusion on your child's body? Are you mm -hmm. on your child? I've mm -hmm. seen people with horns on their heads. Your child wants to be the devil for a month. So are you going to be going up tonight mm -hmm. and 
been horns on your child's head. No, you're not going to. It would be ludicrous. People know that. They'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? Same as this. Your child's mind is not developed until it's 26. Let's say that again. 25, 26, and there's been discrepancies. Mm -hmm. But ages, 25, between 25 and 26, your frontal lobe's not developed enough to make the conclusion of what you really want. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that and that's so, scientifically proven. So, you know, everybody's so much about the science. Uh, go look that up because between the ages of 27 and 28, your brain is grown. And not until then. So, yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. No. So we, you know, and we've done a show. You can go back in our videos. We're not going to do the exact show over. So look at the look at the videos before and like i said they're going to be videos that have 30,000 and they're going to be videos that have 17 views and anybody on youtube who wants to pretend oh my god i'm so popular that 30,000 people just saw me in two days is lying to you um i've i've promoted the shows when i can the shows that i've wanted to how did You're we king. go to that how did we how did we get there Oh, I'm just letting people know when they go and look at our other shows, don't assume that the show isn't worthy of viewing because it has 20 views as opposed to 30,000 oh. views. Okay. We're paying for the pay. <laughs> so if I pay for the show, it's 40,000 views in two days. If I don't, it might have 17 views in two days. Okay. So look at the show. Well, well, we've been talking about um, Cynthia and I off the show. Texas dad fears ex-wife plans to chemically castrate nine-year-old son. Yeah, that just blew um, my mind. The the way the court system is dealing with this case, it just is unbelievable. Our court systems around this country, so many of them, uh, believe themselves to be some great higher power that if they don't agree with how you're living or they want to have some kind of power over you um, yeah I've I've got a client living in uh, New York that faces a judge just like that he determines well if you don't get divorced you're not getting your children back excuse me you know so um things will change but this man uh trying to get his two son he has two sons and uh his ex-wife wants to or has custody of them now uh he's been fighting for them to get them back but because he would not put a dress on his son the court psychologist and and uh, her attorney and his teacher and the school board decided that you know well if you're not gonna in so many words i'm not quoting here by any means but um <clears throat> uh he was not allowed to have his son Keep going. Because uh, he wouldn't let his kid wear a dress. His kid didn't want to wear a dress. His son doesn't want to be a girl. His son wants to be a boy. He enjoys being a boy. You know, but his, his mother, uh, the courts in Texas, allowed this nine-year-old boy's mom to take him and his brother to California. California has become a sanctuary state, a protective state, to... Uh, young women, middle-aged women, however you old you are, if you want to get an abortion, you can uh, get paid to go to California. California Governor Newsom uh, has stated and has passed the law that if you want to get an abortion and you live in a state that does not allow that, then they will bring you down to California and let you get an abortion, okay? Free of charge. Uh, and uh, so everybody that's a resident of California will be paying your bill. Uh, so uh, 
remember, just off the side, if you don't want to have a baby, then use protection. Okay? There's all kinds of things that can kill those little sperm and keep them from going up inside you and making a baby. Okay? So just remember that, you know. Uh, this isn't like having puppies or kittens or, or a wild lion or a, a having uh, cubs, you know, or a, or a bear out in the, out in the uh, forest there having babies. We're not animals here. Uh, we like to see ourselves as a society that uh, has some kind of common sense to be able to recognize that we're not like that crazy woman that was out on the steps of the courthouse uh, with uh, uh, rags tied together to represent uh, the cord of a baby and and then pull and then had the the rag tied around the baby's neck and then she's pulling this. Uh, thing like it's coming out of her vagina and and it's like and then she's showing it here kill the baby here take it take it pulling it out I think she was on some kind of drug because it was just the most insane thing I could ever possibly think of you know at some point where do you draw the line you know uh, where do you draw the line if you're if you don't want the baby don't get pregnant if you don't want the baby and you get pregnant then you know, um, I, I'm like, okay, so uh, up up to when you can hear the heartbeat. Heartbeat starts at six weeks, uh, when the baby's six weeks old in your womb. And so before that, before the heartbeat, right, that's always been my thing. Uh, incest and rape, absolutely. I, I totally do not believe that anyone in the world has done enough research to determine if a woman who has experienced incest or has been raped and become pregnant from that horrible horrible nightmare i don't believe there's enough research on that to uh say she has to have that baby no. I, I personally, I can't speak for Cynthia, I do not believe that she should be made to have that baby. A psychological damage that it might not do to some women who go through that, that trauma. Absolutely. Might be life threat. So I think that there are total circumstances. I do believe uh, you have a right to, but you don't have a right to abuse another human being. So least if you're having protected sex or after mm -hmm. sex with someone mm -hmm. take this to it. Yeah. go to the drug, drug store and take a pregnancy test every yeah. time if you have to yeah so that this way you can take care of it mm -hmm. and you're not anything okay yeah just my personal um let's get back to this because this right this article is by um, New York Post. Okay. New York Post, okay. You can find stories like this. You don't okay. like the New York Post on any. Yeah. Google, okay? You'll find a bunch of articles like this. This is not the only one. Right. This, this story's been out there for a couple of months, maybe three months now. Uh, this case has been ongoing. I've been watching it. I've been trying to stay up on it as much as I can. Uh, the last time I saw him in the news, he was on Tucker Carlson on Fox News. Uh, actually, the only one we believe now on Fox News is Tucker Carlson. Uh, other than that, we watch uh, One America News, who basically just gives you the news around the world. Um, so, yeah. uh, uh, this guy... Um, I'm going to say her name wrong. It's Ninjana Barbera, F-A-R-B-E-R-V. -E so we can just like give credit to where the article came from. Right. Um, and um, it says a Texas father at the center of a bitter years long gender transition case. Ex-wife moved to California, planning to nine-year-old son, Jane, who identified as a girl named yeah, see, he doesn't. Right. 
Jeff Younger, a dad of two who unsuccessfully ran for the Texas State campaign on a trans platform, appeared on Tucker Carlson today. Third, a video for to show his identifying himself as a girl. Now, here we're going to go back. Just want to show you. So, this child identifies Luna, who he is speaking as a, a little girl, right? So he's playing like he's a little girl. He's identifying at that age. So equate that to a child who goes to see a movie, right? The Little Mermaid, um, anything, anything. Like a, a, a little white girl. He's like, goes, there's a Disney character that's black. And she might say, I love that Disney beautiful princess. And she's black. Mom, I want to go to a doctor who's going to now dye my skin black so that I can be like the princess. Are you going to do it? Where does it stop? It's, that's my question. Yeah. Like, yeah. where do you stop mutilating, mutilating your children's bodies? Yeah. Forget the fact that you don't change what God gave you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think you all get a little face left and, and fix your eyes or whatever. But you know, I'm at some age I might want to. So I'm 54. Who knows? In 10 years, what I might want to do? A little tuck here, a little, you know, whatever. Nobody's saying you can't like fix things. But I'm an adult. I'm a 54 yeah. who might decide to alter something. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, I don't know if yeah. you're really getting breast augmentation. I, I no. think it's, it, it's on your breast scans. The, uh, yeah, the the links that I put down below after the show, I'll be uh, in the description, will be links on videos that are now on YouTube of uh, young women who, trans who trans transitioned. Yeah, as teenagers. teenagers. And now uh, want to go back. And right. they can't. Right. They've had their breasts removed. Uh, one, uh, one young man, they sa he says, they take uh, the skin from your forearm to, to make a penis. And so, uh, uh, Unbelievable. Uh, that that is allowed. I, I I don't understand how that's not child abuse. And there are doctors in uh, um, several children hospitals. Uh, they did take an ad off of a children's hospital of an ad for transgenderism, transgender surgery. Uh, um, what they call them? Uh, um, uh, prohibitors, blockers, uh, puberty blockers. Uh, please, please don't do that to your children. Let them be children. Let them, you know, uh, play dress up or uh, whatever it is that they're doing. They are discovering who they want to be. Uh, they're discovering life on life's terms. Uh, let Allow them to have that. You know, don't take that away from them. When, when you parents out there, when you do this to your children, you are being very selfish and you are taking that away, f your child's life away from them, literally. I lost you. I lost your voice. I lost oh, your voice. Oh, there you are. I hear you now. You've been, you, you're, you're cutting in and out really bad. Uh, uh. Being again controlling, right? Controlling, not parents, but controlling. Yeah. They might be using their voice to tell their child. Yeah, you're cutting out again. You're really cutting out bad. Usually. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't hear you. can't can't hear you 
I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I. I can't hear you. Okay. Now I hear you. Now I don't. <laughs> uh, move your phone around. When no. you're moving. Yeah, my phone's fine. Okay. Your phone. Yeah. Your phone. My you phone? Mean? It's my phone? I'm not using my phone. Well, it's your computer then. Oh, it might be. Yeah. Maybe okay. it's that. It, it might be. It might be the headphones. Take them off. Let's see. Can you hear me? No, but you have, yeah, I hear you. Okay, good. Can, do you hear without the headphones? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So I was saying, it's, I don't know how you feel about this, Cynthia, but so many times uh, in the last 20 years, I've heard of, even in schools, through, um, I was at CSC meetings with my kids. And you would hear controlling parents, right? The whole thing that the teachers were talking about, controlling parents, trying yep. to control their children instead of allowing their children to develop naturally who they are, right? You hear this all the time. These educators love this lingo. And the same educators now, I'm sorry, teachers have gone downhill, I think, okay? Yep. This yep now are saying oh but your child wants to be a girl and we're going to help him do that and yeah. they're influencing and encouraging the child to believe that their fantasy or their creativity and their thought is now a reality yeah so on the flip side of that cynthia i'm going to send you this article to link down to sorry i have to dork everything Common Sense Part 2. This is by the National Review. Okay? Yeah. Nationalreview.com And it's Common Sense Part 2. So I have to see what Part 1 is. I couldn't find it. Not every sex researcher thinks young kids should transition. And it's by David French. It was September 2nd. And um... It says, it turns out that progressive parents helping their kids transition just might want to press pause on the process. I, I think that's what we've been talking about this whole time. Nor neuroscientists, okay? Yeah. Not Jeffrey down the block, who's a psychologist, but neuroscientists and sex researchers, <gasps> all of a sudden, all of a sudden, look, Cynthia, they're speaking our language. Deborah So, that's the, it says neuroscientists and sex researchers, and then it says Deborah So says that most kids outgrow their gender confusion. Oh, my God, they do? Why is that, Cynthia? Because their brains develop, and none of these parents are going to jail, or the MDs, or the teachers, who encourage CPS to take those children away from the parents. Right. They don't go to jail, but the parents don't want Johnny to transition until his brains develop. They get in trouble. Right. Wow. So Deborah says that most outgrow their gender confusion. So is certainly no cultural conservative, but she can recognize some basic realities. Oh, so she has a brain. That's, that's interesting. Deborah So a neuroscientist has a brain. Popular opinion suggests that early intervention is the necessary approach in order to remedy a child's gender dys dysphoria. Um, this consists of early social transitioning followed by hormone blockers to prevent the otherwise irreversible changes of puberty, contra sex hormones, and if desired, eventual sex reassignment surgery. Denying a child these interventions is viewed as antiqued and cruel. Antiqued and cruel. Uh, you know what I view? The teachers are encouraging this. 
the judges who are encouraging this, in my opinion, the 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 psychologists and psychiatrists yeah. who know your child for about a month and encourage this, yeah, should all fail yes. on one island and they can mutilate each other. Yep. Yep. Just the it's my opinion, by the way. It's my opinion. If you have a different opinion, we want to hear it. Yes. We will we will not knock you, call you names or anything. We will ask you why you have that opinion. Yes. And please because maybe you will change our minds. But right okay. now Possibly. our opinion. <laughs> I, that's the way you have a conversation. You have to hear the It's okay to hear the other person's opinion. Right. So but I, I won't be changing my opinion on that subject. No, um, I won't either. This. <laughs> Not on So um, it does interesting or, hearing other sides, other other ideas and that kind of thing. But uh, you know, it's all been about uh, a big part of it is about um uh, downsizing the uh, population in the world. And uh if you go and listen to uh, people talk in these forums, like um, now I forget his name. I'll look him up and I'll I'll see if I can find him and I'll put him in the in the. Who are you talking about? Like, what does he do? Um, he's a wealthy guy, foreigner, and he's part of the. Uh, one World Order. Okay. I can't remember his name. I think it's Walls. Walls. Um, I'll look, I'll find it out. But you know, they're they're just man. It's just I can't even fathom the things that are happening in this country that in our country alone that our government is doing to us because they want to control us and they want to take our children and they want to uh, uh you know turn our children against us and so i believe in my heart of hearts that the majority of American citizens and the majority of people around the world will not tolerate anything even close to what governments are trying to do. I watched Australians uh, get tired of it and confront their government in peaceful protest. Uh, so, yeah, this guy that is faced with uh, his ex-wife having to go ahead to mutilate their nine-year-old son because she wants him to be a certain way. And you were reading that from, from the post. Uh, the way you were reading, the way it sounded was that uh, they were saying that the dad is bad in a word saying that the dad is bad and and that the the son just wants wants his dad to uh, ah. see the little girl feeling i got the feeling they just wanted to convey that this is what like what we've been talking about children will go to school and say i want to play with the dolls today and they might be a male the little girl might go to school and say i want to play with the trucks and we've all these generalized gender roles that Little girls play with dolls and play play with the kitchen, and little boys play with trucks and with cars, and that you know, and that's not necessarily true. I've had I had triplets. They went to a Catholic school. I saw children play with various toys that were at some point made for a certain gender. Okay. It was not necessarily where those children were going to end up and with whom they were going to love. It meant they were being creative 
and they were playing a role. And by the way, there are daddies who pick up their babies, right? So why shouldn't little boys pick up a doll and pretend that they're a daddy to the doll? Why is it a gay thing for a little boy to pick up a doll? Yeah. Right. Daddies pick up their babies all the time um, to assume that the little boy picking up a doll is transgender, gay, confused, or or is leaning one way yeah. in a gender identity than another. Yeah. You know, like I said, these psychologists are, they're walking a very fine, dangerous line. Yes. They are, they are cruel, um, inhumane. I don't believe that they are, they're followers, they're mimickers. Because there's a fad, they go along. How yeah. the in the last couple of years where only 10 years ago well, okay maybe a little more 15 years ago I don't think teachers would be saying hey let's take these children away from a mother because she doesn't want to put her child under the knife and cut their penis off yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we're, we're running on um, a demoralized um, inability to to view the reality. Mm -hmm. A year from now, two years from now, sometimes living in the moment is a lovely thing. Most of the yeah. if you're living in the moment and you're not thinking about a year or two from now or what your future is going to look like, you're going to make a lot of crucial mistakes. I know when I've lived in the moment, those are where most of my mistakes have been. When I stop to think about where that moment's going to bring me is when I've made long-term goals and steps towards making better decisions for myself. All I'm saying is, think about Johnny or little Trisha or Maria. My name's Maria, so I'll throw it in there. Maria's future and say, hey, Maybe we need to slow down. Johnny likes a doll today. Maybe Johnny won't like the doll tomorrow. Maybe Johnny won't want to be tomorrow. Maybe he won't want to be Spider-Man. So what are you going to do? You're going to keep cutting little Johnny up every time he has an idea of what he thinks he wants to be, yeah. but his brain isn't up yet. Do you... Are you, are you that dumb that you can't think for yourself and think, gee, 20 people tell me this is the way it should be, but maybe I need to sit back and, and think for myself. Yeah. That's all we do. Use your brain that God gave you. I'm sorry, I, I sound like this, but it's true. And not that I'm perfect, I'm not. And uh, my friend here can vouch, make lots of mistakes. You know, there's no way on this earth, but at least we acknowledge it. But yeah. this is a mistake you're making for yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're taking a human being who can't protect themselves, can't decide for themselves, has no voice. Right. And you're pretending, well, no, they have a voice because they said they want it. Yeah. Well, Johnny might say he wants to go hurt somebody. Are you going to let little Johnny do that? Mm -hmm. When does it end? not to create boundaries for children. And where does it end where a parent can't say, that's not the way I want to raise my kid? Where does it end? Yeah. Exactly. And thanks, yes, and all you crazy teachers out there and this world that we're living in and these children's hospitals are performing these procedures, I don't have kids. So to you. <laughs> Because I feel that, you know, like every advocate out there wants to say, I feel like I need to be an advocate for those children who are teenagers now and go on television and say, I can't have a baby anymore. I can't breastfeed. I have scars on my arms. And it reminds me of my mistake every day. Go look up videos. Yeah. The mom and dad, yeah. 
in our description down below. So yeah, like, subscribe, share, and ring the bell for notifications. Everything's down there. Yeah, comments, please. Yes. You don't, but do it respectfully because I think Cynthia and you to be respectful to your opinion. Be a grown We have to be respectful because we expect people to be respectful on our opinions. We don't have to agree, but you have to slow down and hear what we're saying as opposed to being so like like tight with your opinions so like no i won't hear you yeah. because this is what america has come to now and we're no that's that's what governments want us to believe governments want us to believe that we are not capable of finding our way together as a as a people in this country as citizens of the United States of America, just like when the people in Russia uh, look to their country, just as people in Ukraine look to their country, as China looks to theirs, as Japan looks to theirs. So, you know, it's, it is about, um, so, okay, yeah, I don't want to go off into that whole thing. That's just another night. Uh, another story, and uh, I, I can get into that pretty deep, but I don't do that tonight. Uh, but yeah, you know, this is just uh, unbelievable. Uh, I cannot imagine. Uh, I never wanted to be a man, but I was the biggest tomboy when I was a little girl. You know, and a frog, lizards, snails. You know, beat up my dolls and. <laughs> um, we live in a society where, um, you know, and I know you, you were talking about how dangerous TikTok has become. Yes. Right? Horrible, and, horrible, horrible for, for use. Um, and, it, and I've, listen, I've done some, like, I think I've done like three TikToks, but I've done them when. You know, they were saying, oh, I'm really sick. you should do a TikTok vlog. Well, you know, and I did it on um, uh, uh, one of my listings. And I uh, I don't know if I regret it or don't regret it. I think some TikTok is okay if you utilize it in, in with anything, any platform. So if you use one of the ones for a reality check out about TikTok. TikTok is a China is a company run by the Chinese government, not by China, but Chinese government, which makes it very different. And what they're doing is they're collecting data. They don't allow it in China. You you don't get to have TikTok in China. Yeah. You you, you know they have it here, and so what they're doing is is collecting our data, uh, our information. They're studying how uh, they're studying uh, our behavior um, by the way they're doing that is is by creating these games on TikTok, these challenges, stupid challenges to see what kind of person it's going to take to do that challenge, or where is a child, a, a young adult's mind, or a child's mind, or a teenager's mind to uh, when they when they do these little tests like. Uh, um, um what does what does your group of friends think of you how do they think you look and then the little thing comes around and it says you're ugly and then that teenage that young little girl takes that apart and boom she's dead because she can't live with herself thinking knowing that all of her friends think she's ugly yeah and so they they get that data and then they learn how to take over our country. And so, and that's something that they've already started to do. It's something they've started to do in India, in uh, um, uh, Venezuela, in, um, uh, let's see, there's uh, Chinese uh, heads of state connecting with uh, Russia and Putin. So, you know, the whole thing about what we have here for platforms 
uh, Facebook could be a lot better. Um, we call it Facebook. <laughs> um, um, Twitter is getting better because now there's actually free speech allowed. And uh, uh, um, what's the other one? Instagram. Instagram is uh, uh, getting pretty bad too. So, but just to be mindful of, of about TikTok, I got off of TikTok. I had uh, good experiences with TikTok. I lost you, Maria. There you are. But I had good experiences with TikTok. Uh, but uh, the more I learned about it, but have got me off of TikTok. Put it on my own. Okay. What got me off of TikTok was just that thing I was talking about. There was a young girl who had done one of these, you know, these games uh, that uh, um, actually literally makes you look bad. And so uh, she felt bad and a whole bunch of people were saying, no, 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 you're beautiful, you're beautiful. She is, and she, you know, so, um, yeah, they are uh, learning. They're learning. Hey, girl, I'm not there. I know, I don't see you. Should I see if I can get you yeah. back? And... No, I see like a little box with, the, I see a little box with a person. <laughs> it's a It's a little round circle and a body. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So zoom me in again. I promise. Someday. Zoom me in. Yeah, oh, I wait. That's why my, ca my camera went off. Sorry. There you are. Sorry. But yeah, TikTok, listen. I, I, I get what you're saying on TikTok. But I don't want to lose um, our motivation. I'm seeing a lot of articles. And again, um, if I find... So they're talking about the high 82% of transgender individuals have considered killing themselves. So here you are, and you have these children. They're children. They're not adults. Yes. Okay. Um, 18 years old. I'm sorry. You're still a child. You brain's not developed okay you might be considered um an adult in the eyes of the government so that you can vote but you're voting without your brain being totally developed um so lessons attempting to commit suicide 80 percent 82 percent that's a, a huge number oh, yeah. um which means that there is something chemically imbalanced in their brain that they're not capable of seeing through their issues and, and they need help. So if you are not at a point where you're feeling strong in your mind, right? Because if, you want, if you're trying to commit suicide or if you're feeling depressed, 82% and 40% have attempted, 40% is still a large number. Okay. If, you're, if you're feeling that way, maybe you shouldn't be making decisions, life altering decisions to go under the knife. Right. Why don't we take care of their depression first, as opposed to saying, well, let's put a Band-Aid on it for a couple of months. You want to be a girl? Really? We'll help you do that. That's not getting rid of their depression. And maybe once they're not depressed, they won't want to be a girl anymore, or a boy, or whichever way that's going. Why don't you give these children a fighting chance to grow up? Yeah. And find out what they want. Yeah. When their brains developed. And when they're 25, 26, go right ahead. Yeah. I'm not against it. Right. I, right. I mean, my religion isn't really for it, but it's not my life. And yeah. I can't tell people what to do. I respect for you if you're transgender. Um, there are things I don't agree with her on as a person, right? I have respect for her on some things 
and not respect for her on other things, just like somebody might say that about me. However, she was an adult when she did this transition, right? right. She right. was an adult. And that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Your children have to be guided by the majority of their time, their parents, not their teachers, not these psychologists, their parents. Exactly. Who gave birth to them and loved them and yeah. maybe want their brains to develop before they make life altering decisions. Right. My opinion is that mm -hmm. it's America. I have an opinion. Um, you know, it's, it's a very serious subject. My dog hears me. That's why she's doing that. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, it's a serious, serious thing. These children, for 82% for of, of adolescents, according to this article by pubmed.ncbi.nlm.nih.gov, yeah. Just want to put it out there. Not by Lucy down the block. Right. Um, th that's high numbers. Yeah. That's really high. And 40% right. to actually attempt it. Not yeah. to 82 to think about it. 40% to attempt it. We got to sit down as a nation and go, this isn't about whether you like heterosexuals, gay people, bisexuals, whatever. This is about children. Yeah, and all of us, whatever your whatever your sexuality is, have mm -hmm. to think. Yeah, you're, you're not putting spider webs this month on little Johnny, and then network or Tommy or Maria or whatever you call yourself, N M whatever. Okay, the names don't matter. You're not putting spider webs this month, and then next month they want to be the Little Mermaid. You're not doing that. Yeah. Exactly. So what would you make you make take off their genitals? Yeah. And what rights is any? Yeah, you're from <laughs> have the right to suggest a long term something that's going to be forever for them. I can't go ahead. Okay. Yeah. We the floor is yours. in progress and our text scary Cynthia. Uh so I just want to uh, if I was gonna ask you a question like over there where you are. I don't know. Um, we know that there are things going on in the elementary schools. Uh, <clears throat> and parents are starting to finally stand up and say something. Overall, up here, it's not too bad. There's a couple of schools, elementary schools, that are uh, teaching children. Uh, teaching children as young as pre-K pre -K to kindergarten. Uh, that's like three and four-year-olds, five-year-olds, uh, and uh, teaching them about sex. Um, as, a, as a parent, I, you know, that's not something that a, a, a three to five-year-old or even a, a three to um, 11-year-old need to know about sex. You know, learning about their body parts is different from sex. Yeah. You know, but they, you know, the books that they have in the elementary schools and the high schools now, you might as well go down to the uh, uh, smut market and pick yourself up a couple of uh, uh, booty magazines, you know, because that's what they're like. Only they're in cartoons teaching children how to have sex. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah, it, it will end. It will end because there are more of us who completely disapprove of what's happening 
to the children of this country. You know, there we are really have to get a petition on this. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I, I just do. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, I this is a unique thing, Cynthia, where I think you're going to be. This is within the subject we're talking about, but yet it's a little different. Quite now, we're talking about an adult. So this man is an adult who's changing his 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 sexuality. So go right ahead and do it. Yeah. But he's a dad in Ecuador, and this article is by Fox News, okay, okay. Um, MSN. Uh, dad in Ecuador legally changes gender identity in desperate bid to win custody because in his country, you can only be nervous losing the battle. And he did, a dad in Ecuador who is dealing with an from his wife legally changed his gender identity to help him win custody of his two daughters. It's screwing up even adult. Their lives all of a sudden are going analogy if a woman wanted to get a job in what she felt was a man's environment. And that's what we're, I'm saying. The adults are getting screwed up here. He's changed. Women are changing so that they can fit into a man's world then, right? And those same people are are going, well, Johnny loves to sew. Therefore, Johnny should be a woman. And he can be a seamstress. Let's change his sex. I think we've gone to a level of of insanity in this world where people are so afraid to have a strong opinion, to be ridiculed for a strong opinion. And we're not telling you to hurt people. We're telling you, hey, don't hurt them. If they want to go do it when they're 26, 25, 26, by all means, go ahead. Yeah. But don't do it now that their children 14 right. 15 16 18 year olds shouldn't be allowed to do it right much less than 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 25 should be like right sorry i dropped off but 25 should be the life to pass you know, you're still young enough that you're starting off your life. Start it out the way you want. But do it with great thought. Because those kids and those adults who want to transition back have to look at those scars. Even if the transition is right for you, I'm sure it's psychologically such a culture shock to all yeah. of a sudden change to a different sex. Mm -hmm. The way that you're looked at, the way that you're you're treated, the way that you're you you have your conversations, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes can be quite different. I'm just saying, take a little time. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, like seriously. No. So, um, uh. Yeah, this is a really good topic. It's a really good subject. Uh, I'm going to put some, uh, I'm going to put links down in the description and uh, so that you can go and look at them and listen to the young adults. Uh, here, they're so, it's amazing. And they are so brave and so amazing for coming out and letting, letting people know uh, what they've gone through, telling, talking to them about their experience. And now sharing their strength and their hope uh, of their next change, you know, that uh, our hearts and prayers and thoughts go out to them because they're just struggling. 
Uh, and so Absolutely. I think it's just so wonderful that they chose to come out and talk about what the, what the parents in the schools and the psychologists and the children's hospitals uh, convinced them to do. So yeah, craziness. So we'll we'll put that we'll put those links. Um, send that um, send that uh, that link to me that you uh, from the New York Post that you were reading. reading. Yeah, I definitely will. Um, yeah. And I'll put and I'll yeah. add that down below. So. Uh, do you want to hear something? We're, we're voicing the opinion that it's possible child abuse to allow your children to do this, right? So an article by CNN um, says three Texas families sue over the state's investigations of gender affirming care as potential child abuse. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, absolutely. Tra and then you see a picture of trans kids, are, uh, you are loved. So um, it says, three Texas families have filed a lawsuit challenging the state's investigations into parents who provide their transgender children with gender-affirming health care procedures, according to attorneys on, the, on their behalf. The investigations carried out by the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services came after State Attorney General Ken Paxton released a non-legally binding opinion in February declaring that providing gender-affirming surgical procedures and drugs that affect puberty should be considered child abuse under Texas law. Okay, and this is an article by Elizabeth, I have to give her name, Elizabeth Wool and Andy Rose, published on Thursday, June 9th, um, and again, it's CNN. So, um, you know, it's really important to understand that parents who spank, and I'm not saying beat up, I'm not saying harm, I'm not saying... Uh, kill. I'm just saying spank. Oops. You curse at your mother. You said the F curse to your mother. A tap on the butt. Not beat up. Not anything else. A yeah. slap on the hand. You guys consider that child abuse. But mutilating and disfiguring your children because they're creative and they're, they're, they're role playing yeah. Can a, what's next? Can a husband, while well, role playing sexually with his wife, that she's a nurse? So, um, <laughs> I can't think of it now. The te thesoscope, right? Oh my God. You know, when you know a word and you're like, oh my God, it's not coming up. Right. Right. Ex whatever. Or the husband's playing the nurse. Are you going to now? Is a, is a wife going to have a right to mutilate her husband next? Or are we going to be able to do that as adults to each other? Or are we going to be able to say, hey, my spouse is insane, but my spouse is really a man, not a woman. So, let's change, you know, she's insane, she doesn't know, but I know she's a woman. Can can you take them? Can they start doing that to their spouse? Family members going to be the insane ones that you're going to say, well, they are not, you know, in their right minds. They have a pattern of therapists and psychiatrists and being on antidepressants. But I know from the language that they use that they're more feminine. Let's change them. Where is that line? Is I, Because 10 years ago, I never thought we were going to have this discussion. 15 years ago, I never thought we were going to have this discussion. Right. It might have been spoken about, but I never thought it was going to get to the level where it is today. Right. And, where, and what right does a court, a court of law have to say, you have to change your child's sex? The child you brought into this world. Yeah. Yes, 
They're individuals, but they're children until their brains are developed. What right as a parent does the court have to take those rights away from you and say, you cannot tell this four-year-old what to do. And then the court asks the four-year-old with a supervised idiot that they give them and say, hey, Tanya, here's a truck and here's a doll. Here, here they're both. And I'm just going to evaluate which one you, you tend to go to more. So 20 times in the month, Tanya went for the truck. Therefore, in my professional opinion, Tanya really should be a boy. Get with it, America. You know, you don't have to like people. You don't have to agree with them. You don't have to respect them. That's your American right. Yeah. But think about these children, who yeah. are you to mutilate them? Because that's what this is. It's my opinion, by the way. Mm -hmm. If you feel you need to go to a doctor, please do it. I have to say that for our show. And I'm saying things I have to. I'm not a doctor, a lawyer, a psychiatrist. I'm not CPS. I'm not, I'm not, I am a woman with an opinion, which is allowed. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm unbelievable yeah. just sickening and yeah. in, in my in my book it's sickening yeah yeah and low speed it's it's it's, it's really bad yeah and so, you know what most people are afraid to speak up parents with children in well, schools think, are afraid you know, to speak the up the thing that came to me today uh, was that uh i don't think a lot of it is about not speaking up i think a lot of it is Oh, it'll go away. So nobody says anything. Right. Because we've become so complacent in our country because we believe, oh, everything will just yeah. go go on. So everything will go Hold on. on. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but it's not. Everything is not just going on. Uh, it's not going to change. And it's not going to change until we all stand up against it then we can make change. It, it's taken through to help make our voices louder, to, to bring the many, to awaken the country, to say, you know, I, I went through this and this is what it was like, and this is what it's like for me now. You know, so many, many people, when you know, young adults, young children have gone through this process, uh, because of government, because of school boards, because of, of teachers, and because of the so-called uh, psychologists and psychiatrists, and then the children's doctors, who I, I think are really getting off on experimenting with uh, uh, mutilating these, these young children. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like our government has legalized uh, experimentation on our youth. You know, in Germany, uh, Hitler approved uh, these horrid experiments on Jewish people uh, to try and find out what made them Jewish, you know, uh, or, or how to make a, a stronger soldier. There were some really horrid, horrid, horrid uh, experiments being done. People. That's yep. just the, what Cynthia is saying. They're people. Yeah. Do it. Muslim, um, Christians, uh, Jehovah Witnesses, whatever you are, um, yeah. African American, whites. We're people. When does it stop and we don't realize, yeah. you know, uh, you know, Jewish people are beautiful people. Christian people are beautiful people. Muslim people, they're people with a certain faith. Right. That's it. Wake up in the morning, and I've said this about Palestine and Israel, and if you're Jewish out there and I'm offending you, I do apologize, but I do believe this. You've been living in Israel, and the Palestinians have been living in Israel for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. At what point do you think bloodshed is going to change anything? Yeah. 
Exactly. Live to, wake up in the morning, send your kids to school, decide to have a good day, love your children, let your children be friends with the other side. And stop promoting anybody on this earth. Let's kill off th these people. Let's do this. Let's just stop. Think. Stop mutilating these children who deserve to have the right to live their lives and decide later. As opposed to having a child at four, five, six, seven, ten, change their gender permanently mm -hmm. and then have to and kids, and they'll never have to have children again. They'll never be able to have children again. They'll, they'll, they'll have scars on their bodies forever, reminding them of their mistake. And for those of you that turn out that it's not a mistake for you, great. Right. But we're talking about making decisions when your body is mm -hmm. at the point where it understands those decisions. Yeah. A four-year-old doesn't understand politics. A four-year-old doesn't understand certain conversations. So what makes these doctors and psychologists think that a four-year-old understands that they're mutilating their own bodies and that they're risking wanting something different when they're 25? What, what like, is America not getting? Yeah. I don't know. It's it's this. Um, uh, I don't know. I I think as adults, um, we've we've all had things in our lives, personal things that have gone on, right? Breakups, divorces, and those things to an adult can be confusing, right? And that's nowhere as near the same subject as transgender dysmorphia or these operations of right. transitioning. But on a, on a smaller scale, what I'm trying to say is that these are life things that happen and they're confusing to us and what we believe today or may have thought of for ourselves in our future today, even as adults, mm -hmm. might change now, depending on what information is absorbed in our brains from or what, where we've been or what we've been influenced by or what, you know, things in that environment that have changed. So if we can change so easily and adults do, why would we do that to a child? Why would we have a child not have the chance to, to transition at a point where they understand that is the best decision for them, as opposed to transitioning before they can even understand an entire conversation of anything. Okay? Um, that's my point. They don't get it. You know, sex, they don't get it. Why are you teaching it to them? What does... Any child need to know how to have sex. You want to teach them, like Cynthia said, their arms, their face, oh, my nose, my eyes. You want to teach them, I'm sorry, I keep going in and out for some reason, but my nose, my eyes, my mouth. You want to teach them that stuff? Go right ahead. But you want to teach them sex? You think that they understand what you're teaching them? Yeah. No, their mind isn't grasping the actuality of what you're saying. They're mimicking you. They're repeating what you're saying, but they're not ending the full scope of what you're saying. And that can be very difficult and dangerous yeah. for a very important subject Absolutely. like transit sex. Absolutely. I, you know, I wouldn't want sexuals to be going down a parade and pulling down their pants and going around naked. Yeah. So anybody says, well, you're just against gays, you're just, no. I have no problem with you being gay. Yeah. And there are gay parents that are better parents than heterosexual parents. I do have a problem when you believe that it's okay to go around naked 
or that you have to prove your sexuality on the streets of New York or anywhere else. And I'd have that same problem with a heterosexual couple. Okay, so there you go. Stop being so sensitive and, and oh, it's a personal attack on us gays and bisexuals and transgenders and blah, blah. No. You know, God made us all. God doesn't love me more than he loves you. And he loves enemies. Like I've said, he can love my enemies. I don't have to. I'm not God. I can forgive them, but I don't have to like them. And, and that's a difference. That's another subject too. But what I'm saying is, I, I don't have any problems with a transgender or anybody who is gay or whatever. I have a problem with you influencing children at a young age. And I don't care if you're a heterosexual. I don't care if you're a transgender. I don't, I don't care if you have five eyes. I don't care if you have one eye. I don't care what you have, blonde hair, dark hair, whatever. You're influencing babies. Let those babies grow up and then decide for themselves because you're going to see a lot of children in the future, just my prediction and my opinion, suing their parents for performing sexual transitioning surgeries on them when they were incapable to understand what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah. So all the same parents holding up that sign. The bad thing about this fad. Oh, loved. Yes, you yeah. are loved. Yeah. Gender children loved by Cynthia and me because we feel sorry for them. They're loved because we feel sorry for them. Um, Let I sad for them. I don't, yeah, I feel sad for them. Uh, that they have, that they are ma made to go through what they go through. It's really awful. It's really, it's really so awful. It's so damaging psychologically to these children who become adults right. who are no longer who they were, you know, it's really unfortunate. Oh, it's so sad. Yeah. It's, it's so sad because it really doesn't have to be this way. Right. right. You know, if you leave Johnny with his penis on, next month he'll want to be something different. I can see you. Yeah. yeah. Children progress and grow in their environment, through mm -hmm. their experience. Yeah. And what you're doing, you're stifling those, in my opinion, experiences for them to have a chance yeah. to see what they like and what they don't like. Mm -hmm. And growth experiences. You're stifling that. You're, 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 I, I feel it's a form of child abuse, in my opinion. I feel that the state shouldn't be involved in transitioning children whose brains are scientifically proven not to be developed yet. Yeah. I feel it's all I realize that, guys. I feel, and I, I'm sure Cynthia does too, but Cynthia can speak for herself, that this is a dangerous road with a lot of lawsuits in 20 years from now. We're going to see just like Bell, um, oh my God, um, the Bell jeans, the, oh my God, I can't, getting simple things. But like, yeah, yeah, like fashion revolves, right? It, 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 it comes back. Yeah. Straight leg neck, wide leg next month, you know. The, the bow tie neck, uh, you know, the, the blouses with the big bow ties on them came back, right? They were out for a while. They were outdated of the 80s. And now all of a sudden, um, you know, the, your hairstyles come and go. Same thing. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. You, you know, things change. Right. Let change naturally. Let people grow up and learn how to be who they want to be yeah. when they make that opinion. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
you finished. I, I am so I'm like at a loss for words with this. Yeah. So I I think it'd be really awesome to um next week just kind of follow this case with this man uh trying to get his his children back and uh um I'll uh look up some stuff on it and we'll see what we find out next week. Uh, or what happens by next week. Yeah, the families or his ex and the boys are in California. Uh, he's not allowed to see them. Uh, he's, uh, his uh, visitation rights were removed because he would not agree to call his, his son Uma. And he would not agree to uh, dress him as a little girl. And because of that, his uh, visitation rights have been removed by the court, by the court. The court made that determination. Wow. So I, I think it's a, a, something to really start hoping to open other people's eyes and, and minds and to really make this very, very clear. What happens to these little children? You know, it's just like what happened to uh, child actors you know uh not all of them made it to the big movies when they became adults right you now they were um uh, back when black black and white movies were being made before color they were mistreating these children they were beating these children we are going to do this or else you know alf the kid that played alfalfa turned into uh, an alcoholic and that's how he died. Uh, and so, so many of them uh, were not happy kids because yes. their lives were being taken from them. Yeah. And so, yeah, I think this is a worthy cause to continue to get out and uh, to talk about um, and have open discussion about that's going to be really good. I'm anxious to get comments, feedback from all of you out there. So don't be afraid to speak your mind. But again, as Maria and I have said, um, speak your mind in an adult fashion. Uh, we can sit here and fuss with the best of them, but that doesn't uh, that doesn't make it a good conversation that everybody can sit and comfortably listen to. So let's have a conversation about what's going on before it gets done. What's really scary, Cynthia, is that if we were on, um, you know, a television program on a cable network, we would be taken down so quickly. Look, I, I, I'm telling you, that technology can't come soon enough where they... I, I know, right? When they <laughs> fix this where we don't disappear, yeah. I, it, so look at my hand. Ooh, it's there. Ooh. I, I, yeah. <laughs> it's like a medical card. There you are. There, yeah. Um, it's scary because I wish, and I've told this to Cynthia, um, how wonderful would it be if we can have a program like this on television where we can have a conversation with people we don't agree with, mm -hmm. hear them out without interjecting because yep. we expect. And, you know, it's almost like a debate with the president. You know, you hear them out, no one else can interject so that you can clearly hear the entire scope of what they're saying. Right. And then respond respectfully. I yeah. think that it would be a better healthier nation yeah. but we are in a world that's a cancel culture we're living in a world where i, I heard this beautiful african-american girl get on tv and she said you know uh, it was not tv it was i think a tiktok and she said i wear braids and she says i she felt it was prejudice that um uh one of the TikTokers and this, well, um, she's actually uh, gay. She's uh, a, a young girl who came out 
and uh, and she w always had the purple hair and wore the different colored hair, and she was with the kids. And then she came out. I forgot her name. Anyway, so she she had a kids show for a long time, and um, she went to Bahamas or one of the islands, and she braided. She got her hair braided, and the girl says, "Oh, it, you know, she felt it was like kind of like." Um, up in the air and she was asking do you feel it's prejudice that she you know that she went to the islands and she did that but in these states it's not okay to do that not to to um corn corn row your hair yeah an african to grow it. and i'm like thinking is this really what we're thinking of yeah you know, i did i did my hair like that i had four girls working on my hair doing my hair like that when I was in beauty college, uh, yeah, back in uh, 1982 or 1983, and they they did cornrows in my hair and braided yeah. it all way down and took them four out and I we, did it. Oh my gosh, we, it was great! And they loved it, and everybody loved it. It was um, it was perfect. It was, but here's the thing. Because it was hot where we where I live, yeah. and so it, here's the. Thing. Black girls are beautiful. Cynthia's hair probably looks beautiful. White girls are beautiful. Get over it, okay? If black girls straighten their hair, it's beautiful. If they want to have an afro, it's beautiful. If they want to do cornrows, they're beautiful. Have confidence in yourself. If a white girl wants to have braids, fine. If she doesn't, fine. Straighten your hair. If you want to have blonde hair, look at me. I'm dark now, okay? I went back to dark. And I told you I do this every once in a while. I go blonde and I you know, slowly change it back. And I do it myself, so I know how. Um, it's a personal thing. You know, don't... I mean, if this is what this girl is thinking about, she's waking up in the morning and she's saying, some white girl got her hair cornrowed or whatever. Uh, now, now that's a prejudiced thing. No, maybe she's admiring. Look at it this way. And, and I'm going to give... Cynthia, a TikTok video, because it does make sense. This girl, I no, maybe it was not TikTok, but I have it. This girl came out and said, I grew up thinking if, uh, if a white girl touched my hair, it was prejudice. And she says, and she's an African-American girl. And she says, but you know what? She says, I realize now maybe they were admiring me. Maybe they wanted to touch my hair because they thought it was pretty or because they wanted to feel something different, right? Maybe that's how we learn. Maybe that's how we explore. And maybe that's how we learn to respect others, right? By learning about them. Yeah. So she was a smart African-American girl who came to that on her own, a young girl, probably in her 20s, if you see her. And she says, I grew up being told if they come to touch you, that's that's um, prejudice. That's putting you down. That's enslaving you in some way in your mind. But she came up with it and said, no, maybe they were admiring me. Maybe it was a positive thing. Maybe they just wanted to get to know something different. And it made me proud that they wanted to know about my hair. Right? So... Stop teaching your kids a. Maybe the little white baby or the little black baby who want to hold hands or look at each other or see their differences are actually learning that it's okay to be different rather than somebody teaching them that that's hatred. Let's get past that because we've got a lot of dangerous things going on in our society and that's not one of them. Just saying. Oh my God. So, um, yeah. Um, so next week, uh, we'll be on Wednesday night. If all goes well, we'll be on Wednesday night. And yeah. Then, if not, we'll make up for it by the weekend. Yeah. By the weekend. So, yeah. um, I am uh, ready to close out. Are you ready to close out? I certainly am. <laughs>
So thank you all for joining us tonight. And uh, one of these days we'll have a routine and we'll do out thing and it'll be awesome. Yeah. Okay. And um, just to close out to, um, you know, if, if, you're, if you're a woman, and again, I always want to bring it back to women. If you're a woman, and even if you're a man and um, you're going through a tough situation, an emotional situation or whatever, it could be a breakup, a divorce, uh, anything in your life, um, slow down and kind of breathe and take a breath and try to, um, you know, try to see um, always where things can go po in a positive light for you instead of looking back and seeing how dark everything is. Um, I think that if people pause for a moment, that there will be less um, brain activity to go to the negative and to go into suicide. There's never, we need to put, we keep saying on our videos, the suicide hotline. Is I, so I, I did put that up. I did, did. I did put that up. Let's so, when, because, um, so, you know, if you look at our videos and Cynthia's, I mean, past ones might not have it, but we certainly are putting it on from now on forward. And yeah, so, it, you know, don't go to a dark place. Right. Um, there are people who talk to you, even if you find somebody, there are people who will talk to you. And um, even if you're homeless, that the state gives out cell phones to the homeless. Yeah. Um, so uh, you can go, um, and I don't know who you would go to for that. Uh, would, social services. Where? Go to social services, your so office. Local station, and you say, human resource. services numbers, they'll give them to you. Or they'll tell you if you don't have a phone where they're located. And okay. you can go there yeah. and maybe somebody to help you. Yeah. Go to your county human services and uh, they will help you with that. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it's it was a good show. And um, yeah. looking sure. at your comments, please keep them clean. You, you will be blocked. You're not going to be offending us or anything else. We'll just yeah. block you. Yeah, so yeah. we don't we we we're not going to be offended by your words because we're we're not in that world. Uh, but we are open to a good conversation and a uh, um, a uh, educational response. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, um. So, so happy. Well, thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful week. And uh, successful week. Stay safe out there. And uh, we'll be keeping you in our prayers. So until next time, love you. God bless love you. you. Talk soon. God bless. Thanks for your God bless. with us and, and uh, supporting us here at home with Cynthia and Maria. Subscribe. And um, maybe on our video, we can get a little notification bell during the video. So that yeah, I'll, I'll see. If, I'll I'll work on the bell thing. I have I have to subscribe. Yeah. On yeah. So, um, but yes, please, please, please do subscribe, yeah. like, share, and ring that bell. Absolutely. You, know. you can ring. I can't sing it because I'll get in trouble. You know. right. Uh, you write laws. <laughs> okay well and for anybody who um just putting it out there for anybody whose family members are sick or not well um because i, I found out about a friend's family member that's not um you know prayers out there for everyone and you know whether you agree with us or not and um big love big love Bye, Cynthia. Bye, Cynthia. Good night.
you got it. Okay, bye.